hey guys so welcome back to my channel I um, I'm doing a new type of video it's basically all my favorite Weight Watcher go to um, point low point friendly items um, I normally don't do, th do these types of videos on my page I usually do like gaming um, some I do some cooking or just random things I've been doing Weight Watchers for about um, let's see nine weeks now and it's been very successful for me it's slow but um it's it's really good it actually not only has helped me lose weight but it's also um taught me to eat better and incorporate um, better foods and i'm really aware of the things that i'm eating <laughs> switching over from what i was doing before to weight watchers it was like when i started scanning stuff when i first got downloaded the app i was shocked to see that like what I drink every day, which is like vitamin waters, they have so much sugar. When I switched over, I um, I was like, what am I gonna drink? I really didn't wanna drink the artificial sweetener um, stuff that had sucrose and aspartame. So I was looking for, you know, an alternative that was not as bad as um, those two artificial sweeteners. So um, moving right in, this is just, like I said, a video of lots of snacks or foods or drinks or whatever that I eat on a regular basis um, that are pretty much low points. So I'm gonna start with the things that I drink um, every, almost every day. So the Zevia sodas, these are my go-to. I literally have a half a can of this every day for dinner. Sometimes I have a half a can for lunch. Um, I just can't drink a full can at one sitting. It just, I don't know, I just, it, I don't know. I like to drink a lot of water. Clearly, they're made with stevia leaf, not um, any, no art, other artificial sweeteners. Um, these do have, not the ginger ale, but the other soda is like the cola um, and this one, and um, I think the cream soda, I, don't, I haven't tried all of them yet. Um, have caffeine in it so if you're not don't want to drink caffeine just stick with the ginger ale they might have a lemon lime one um, but these two are my favorite I don't really prefer the grapefruit flavor um, the cream soda is okay but it's really like it's really carbonated for me like it's good like every once in a while but these are my like every day I'm gonna drink a half a can of this every single day so definitely get these. I find these um, at Trader, not Trader Joe's, um, Bel Air, Rayleigh's, hmm. um, Sprouts too. So that's the place I found these. Sometimes I drink the, um, the little, these things you put in your water. They are the true lemon, um, kind of like Crystal Light or, you know, the other little um, things that you put in the water. They have... Um, just one per serving or one per bottle. Um, sometimes I'll drink these, but um, these are good because these are also made with stevia, so there's no aspartame or surclose. And um, I found these at Walmart. That's all for drinks. I'm gonna go finish off or go right into the other cold items so that I can um, get them back in the refrigerator or freezer. Obviously, this is a staple besides regular eggs. But this is zero points. As you know, all eggs are zero points. This is just easier for me. It's less of a cleanup. And, you know, I can measure out a specific amount. Um, and I feel like because I have a little bit of a lactose um, issue, I feel like this doesn't hurt my stomach as much as regular eggs. Even though I still enjoy regular eggs every now and then, this I feel like doesn't really bother me at all. So this is definitely a must-have. Um, I did find, let's see, oh, for breakfast also. These I found at um, um, Sprouts. These are the best sausages. I'm not a sausage person. I really don't like sausage that much, but for breakfast, sometimes I'm tired of eating bacon or Canadian bacon. This has a lot of flavor. It's kind of sweet, um, but there is a maple flavor. This one's just the um, chicken and apple flavor. Um, and this is so good. It's only one point per link. Definitely, definitely, definitely suggest this brand because I've tried, what is the other brands? I've tried the Jenny O, I've tried um, the Jimmy Dean um, turkey sausages, and, and I've tried Trader Joe's chicken sausage. I did not like Trader Joe's. They were very plain. You would have to season them. These are already seasoned. Delicious. Definitely must have. But like I said, I'm not really into sausage like that, but these are really good. Um, 
Another thing, so moving on, this is what I have for a snack every single day. Um, it is unsweetened applesauce, and um, as you know, unsweetened applesauce is zero points um, on the new Weight Watchers program. So I get the strawberry um, unsweetened applesauce. I've tried the plain, I've tried the mixed berry, but this one is actually my favorite. The yeah, this is strawberry. The mixed berry was okay. I just, I don't know. I prefer the strawberry one um, or the plain one. The, I mean, honestly, when I first, I was like, oh, unsweetened. Man, that's not going to taste very good. But when I tasted it, I was, I was very surprised because it you don't really need the regular sweetened one. It already is a little sweet naturally from, you know, the apple or whatever. But this one is my favorite. It's the strawberry. And again, Walmart, Target, always buying these. So this is another staple that I always have, always, always, always have, Cool Whip Light. It's only one point for two tablespoons, and it's so delicious. Now, I did scan the fat-free one or the free Cool Whip, and it's the same amount of points. So um, I'm not sure if the serving size is the same amount. That's the one thing I didn't look at, but I'm pretty sure it is two tablespoons is the same amount of points. Um for the light and the free. But the light one, I've, I've always eaten this even before I was on Weight Watchers. And so I was pleasantly surprised that um, this was only one point for two tablespoons because two tablespoons is plenty. Another dessert that I love and I cannot express enough how much I'm obsessed with these ice creams. These are the Enlightened um, Chocolate Peanut Butter Swirl Ice Cream Bars. And let me just tell you, I, like I have no words clearly, but I buy two boxes at a time. Um, it's only three points for one bar. And I feel like that's a really good um, points value for an ice cream. I prefer this brand over Halo Top and Yasso um, and Arctic Zero. Those are, I don't really like those as much anymore, but I mean, I'm not gonna turn any ice cream down but on their website, which I love about them as well, is you, if you go to enlightened.com or, yeah, enlightened.com, oh, eenlightened.com, you can put in, um, like, your zip code and it'll show you what stores are, carry which flavor, you know, of this, the bar or the pint, because they have the little pints too. Um, and there's, like, a s'mores flavor. There's, like, so many good flavors, but they don't sell them in my area. I'm so upset. Please, please try these. These are the bomb. I'm obsessed. Right, sorry, I know I'm dramatic, but I'm just, I need you to feel how much I love those things. Okay, so another staple, which I have it kind of whatever, but um, is the, the already grilled ready chicken breast. Um, this brand and um, there's another brand at Walmart. I forget what it is. Uh, zero points, obviously, it's just chicken breast. But um, I also got the bag from Trader Joe's, which I prefer the Trader Joe's one over these. It's just, I don't know why. I'm just weird like that. But they taste pretty much the same, but um, it's so easy. Like if I just need a quick dinner, if I just need to whip something up in a couple minutes, this is already cooked. So I love this. This is a must as well. Um, the next thing that I have to have all the time is pepperoncinis. Have these, and these are also zero points if you didn't already know. My other favorite thing right now is the Taco Bell fire sauce, the um, hot sauce. This is also zero points. Um, most salsas are, but you have to be careful with the sugars. Like this has no sugar in it. It literally has like no ingredient well like no there's there's not even a label for sugar on here most of the stuff that i'm showing you i found at walmart um if i didn't find it at walmart i found it at sprouts because that's the other place i pretty much shop um every week on to my next favorite must have thing if you are a pickle lover dill lover you will love this and i promise you it's super inexpensive it's like less than two dollars for a bottle it is the dill mustard from walmart this is also zero points but it is so delicious next thing that i like i don't eat a lot of salads um just because i feel like salads don't fill me up as much as like you know a sandwich would or whatever um but this salad dressing the olive garden um light italian dressing is really good it's only 1.42 tablespoons and really two tablespoons is a lot definitely get this 
Another thing that I love and that I eat almost every day is the Joseph pita bread. Um, this is the flax oat bread and whole wheat pita bread. Um, and I get these at Walmart. It's um, one point for the whole pita. I'm, I'm double checking. I'm like, have I been eating this wrong? But no, yeah, it's one point for the whole entire pita. It's so good. It tastes like a regular pita. It is a little bit thinner, but that's okay. It's it's still filling, it tastes good, and it's only one point for the whole pita. We have two different, like, other one is not flax, it's something other, but both of them are one point. They also have um, Joseph's flatbread, which is like this big, long flatbread, and half of one of those flatbreads is only one point. The only thing I can say about the flatbreads, because I did have those before, is they're really thin, and... I just, I couldn't make it work for what I wanted to use with, with it. And I just, I wasn't impressed. The taste of it was fine. It tastes fine. I just, I'd rather do whatever I need to do in the pitas because these are a little more stable than the, the flatbread. The flatbread is really thin. But if you like that, then definitely do that. It's only one point, two points for the whole pita and that thing is humongous or just one point for half. But I definitely recommend Joseph Pita's one point. And then these are delicious. These are the Mission Yellow Corn Extra Thin um, Tortillas. They are one point each. Um, I think if you eat three tortillas, it's four points. Um, but for the most part, you probably only need like one or two. But they're only one point and they're delicious. They don't even, they say extra thin, but they don't even feel or look extra thin. They look like just regular tor corn tortillas. They're, it tastes exactly the same and everything. This is jelly or preserves or whatever, fruit spread as they call it. But this is the um, reduced sugar because I do like toast with jelly sometimes, um, but regular jelly is, is either two, two, anywhere from like two to whatever, five points or whatever, but this is only one point for one tablespoon. Um, so I figured this is a better deal and it tastes good. It's doesn't taste any different. Just like the no sugar ketchup or the reduced sugar ketchup, it doesn't taste any different than regular ketchup and it's zero points for the reduced sugar for a serving. So um, one point for one tablespoon, I think this is a good deal. This one is my favorite. This one is so good. The salsa one and the green chili and lime one, I eat all the time. Like I buy four cans at a time, like that's how much I eat it. Um, but zero points, it's fat free and you don't really need to add any salt or anything because it already tastes, you know, seasoned, which is great. So let's move on this side. Um, these little guys are also my, one of my go-to. And like if I just am in between meals or snacks and I just need a little something to tide me over, I go and eat one of these. Um, you can have five pieces, I think for one point or for two points. I think it's one point for five pieces and I only eat one piece or two, maybe two at the most, but they're the sugar free, um, Werther's original and they have the caramel, caramel apple and the coffee. I'm not really a coffee person, so I don't really eat those ones as much, but I love these. I recommend these definitely delicious. Um, so the other thing I, I use is this PB2, the chocolate. Um, this is really good um, as an alternative to real peanut butter because real peanut butter is very pointy. And um, I don't eat peanut butter that often, but when I do, you know, I, I, I like to have a lot. I can't just have a teaspoon or a table. I think like a tablespoon of peanut butter is like six points. And I'm like, what? I'm not spending six points on a tablespoon of peanut butter. I could be lying because I don't haven't had a regular thing of peanut butter in my house for nine weeks or more because you know since I've done Weight Watchers but this is the PB2 chocolate and it is one point for two tablespoons and you just mix it with water it has directions on here to how to mix it but you just mix it with a little bit of water and it just basically is like chocolate peanut butter I constantly make probably every week is um, two ingredient dough cinnamon rolls now I was super excited when I um, I watch um, Amanda Cyper, I believe her last name is, on um, YouTube, and I love her. She's so cute and she's so sweet and she's so informative, and I love all her recipes. Um, she's that's who I got the one point cinnamon roll recipe from. In her video, when she was doing the recipe, um, she said that the gold medal brand, I believe, is one point less than the um, Walmart brand, which is the um, 
Why am I blanking on it? But you know what I mean, the Walmart brand. So definitely do the gold metal. It's a self-rising flower. You cannot use regular flower. Make sure you get this self-rising flower. And it's just equal um, parts and you just mix it and then you roll it out. You say, uh, reserve a little bit of flour because it gets kind of sticky. But all I do is take some cinnamon and some stevia sugar and then I roll it out and roll it, cut it, put it in the oven and I make 12, it makes 12 slices and each cinnamon roll is one point. And they're probably like this big. And I don't use frosting because I haven't found a, a frosting um, recipe that's Weight Watchers friendly that I like personally. There's plenty out there. I just don't, I just didn't, I've tried three of them and I don't like any of them. So I just, do it with no frosting. But the thing that I do do to make them sweet is I add this um, stevia um, sugar powder. I guess it's not sugar, but you know what I mean. So it's a powder. It's not, um, it's, it's very, very fine. It's like powdered sugar basically, but stevia. And I add this in with the dough and then I sprinkle it with the cinnamon before I roll it up. So, but I also use this, this brings me, it's a good segue to this. I use this for everything. Anything that I'm wanting sweet, I use this for. And I actually found this on Insta, Instagram. I actually found this on Amazon. And it was pretty reasonable. I think it was like six bucks or something, but this has lasted me. I'm in nine weeks and I'm only halfway gone, but I, I make the cinnamon rolls every single week. So I use this quite often. Um, but if you don't use sugar that much or sweetener, then you probably won't go through this as much, but I definitely recommend this. It's really delicious. Okay. So we're almost done guys. Thank you for hanging in there and being so patient and watching this. I just have to have three more items. Um, this is my, um, third to the last item. It's tuna. It's the um, tuna creations um, from Starkiss. This one is the ranch flavor. I like this one and I love the lemon pepper. Um, these are zero points for the whole entire pack. Actually, I can't remember which one. One of them is one point for the whole pack. And I don't know if it's the ranch one. I think, I can't remember. Anyways, I only use half a pack when I eat a sandwich or if I put on a salad or whatever. So basically it's zero points for half of a pack. But for all the whole thing, there's a lot of tuna here, is one point. Come on, guys. Like, that's a no-brainer. These are definitely, definitely so good. I don't add any mayonnaise, anything in it. It's already seasoned perfectly. So my last two items are actually um, Weight Watcher items. And I don't know if, if you guys buy Weight Watchers items, but I definitely recommend it. Um, one of the items that I love that I don't have because I've eaten them all and when I went to my meeting today they were sold out what is the um the salt and vinegar little potato chip round things oh my god those are so good it's only two points for the whole bag and I usually eat that when I have my lunch it's so good it's just it tastes like um salt and vinegar pop chips like they're really delicious they're they're not too crunchy which I don't like super crunchy things if you know me um and they are um, low points, only two points, which I think if you were to get the pop chips, I think it's three or four points for like 17 cracker or 17 chips or whatever. So it's really a good alternative and it tastes delicious. So I definitely recommend that. Okay. So I lied. There's actually four more items, which the, one of them was the tuna. And then, so this is another go-to that I love right now. It is the, um, Smart Food Delight. It's the Chipotle um, aged cheddar flavor. And it's the serving size is three and a half cups. Guys, the three and a half cups is like a fourth of this bag. I usually eat a cup when I have my lunch and it's only one point for one cup. If I do two cups, it's I think two points. But for the serving, for three and a half cups, I believe it's four points. So it's like, this is really good. I love popcorn. Oops, sorry, my table shaking. I love popcorn and this flavor is really delicious because some of the like um, like the skinny pop and those other flavors, sometimes like even though it has a, a flavor, when you eat it, you don't really taste that flavor. It's so light that you feel like you're eating plain popcorn down there. So I like this one because you can actually taste the Chipotle cheddar on it and you can clearly see it when you look at it. It's so good. Okay, last two items, I promise. And um, and then I'll be done. I know the video is long, but thank you so much for sticking with me. So the last two items, again, are Weight Watchers items. And the first one is the Spinalicious Swirls. Um, these are only two points. 
these are these taste like to me these taste exactly like um cinnamon toast crunch and with a little bit these have a little bit of frosting drizzled on each little round oh my gosh they're so good. The last item is also Weight Watchers. This is the Chocolate Pretzel Blast. Um, it's um, their chocolate bars. They have like three different ones. Um, they have this one, um, the mint one, and the raspberry one. And they're all two points. Excuse me. The raspberry one is three points. I love the mint ones. I, I'm out of those right now. But I also love these Chocolate Pretzel Blasts because they actually remind me of a Snickers bar. The raspberry ones, I think it's raspberry, are not good. Well, to me, they're not good. Well, I actually will never buy those again. I just do not like those. I don't want to waste an extra point on them. I don't know why they're an extra point. Anyway, so that is it for this um, Weight Watchers um, snack haul, I guess you can say, or overview or review or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I, like I said, I don't do this type of video all the time. I probably will do a few more in the future. Um, I just do all kinds of different videos, just whatever I feel like doing, I just do. Um, I'm a gamer. I like to cook. I like to go on vacation. So it's like, there's going to be stuff. I have a lot of videos that I need to edit and put up there. So, um, definitely if you want to, you know, stick around and see what I got, then subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.